Welcome to Guerrilla Democracy News, news from across the galaxy. Alex Belfield arrested. Hello. Hello, sir. Yes, what is it for? Well, explain explain it. It. No, could you tell me what you're doing? Come down to the door, sir, then we can explain it to you then. If okay, right. well, I'm not. Are you arresting me? Sorry? Are you arresting me? You are going to be arrested, yes. Okay, and are you raiding the house again? If you come down to the door, rather than having to shout. No, no, I, I just like to. Are you intending to raid the house again? All right, try to come down to the door, please, or we're going to put it in. You're threatening to put my door in. I'm not resisting arrest. I need to speak to my lawyers. I need to speak to my lawyers. I'll come down. Alex Belfield, the BBC's number one whistleblower, was arrested this week by unidentified police officers from Nottingham Police, who did not wear their lapel numbers, instigating claims that the BBC and Nottingham Police are colluding to illegally silence an outspoken critic and opponent of the BBC. Accused of miscommunication, having allegedly sent the BBC HQ a bomb threat via Facebook, Alex Belfield was subjected to a strip search. His door knocked down and his home ransacked and searched for more than four hours. The star of the YouTube hit The Voice of Reason with over 250,000 subs and Ryzen. Alex Belfield boasts of being the number one talk show in the UK on YouTube, with more viewers than LBC and talk radio combined. While many people consider Belfield a hero and continue to donate thousands of pounds to his fund to pay for the best lawyers money can buy, there are some discontented voices alerting the public to beware that Belfield could possibly be a government asset designed to draw in the gullible for their own nefarious ends. Thank you for watching Guerrilla Democracy News, news from across the galaxy, news the mainstream media dare not report.